Hello and welcome to my quarantine kitchen. Today we are making that all-time British favourite dish, beans on toast. Perfect to serve by yourself or with whoever you are socially isolating with. Now first things first, you have to get your tin of beans from your cupboard. Ah. Okay. That's probably what the post-it note meant. Try that again. Hello and welcome back to my quarantine kitchen. Now I may have forgotten to restock the cupboard, but that's okay. We can still carry on. The show must go on, as they say. Today we are cooking that all-time favourite British dish Spray light on toast. Delicious, nutritious, and perfect for this quarantine, lockdown, whatever you want to call it. We have our spray light here. Now let's go get some bread. Oh, not actually any bread in here either. Okay, back to the drawing board. Hello and welcome back to my quarantine kitchen. Um, we're not doing any of the other recipes. We're doing this fine British example. Today's meal will be a cup of tea because that's all we've uh, got in the cupboard. But not to worry, I'll walk you through how to make the best cup of tea that we can make. Go, let's go over here. Now it is important to wash your hands every 20 seconds while singing happy birthday or something like that. And because these are unprecedented times you may think using the kettle is a breeze but we might be without mains power in the future or something or all kettles might become evil so they're all banned. So what you're going to do now is you're going to grab your mug and fill it with water and then put it in the microwave for about 10 minutes. Now that's done, grab the mug out of the microwave. Ow! Now that's done, grab a oven glove to grab the mug out of the microwave. Now that you've got your mug of hot water, it's time to add the milk. We're using innocent blue milk from this bottle here. You know, you can use any milk you like, but we're using this because this is what we had in the fridge. And now we grab a teaspoon and we add the sugar. Add as many sugars as you like to taste. I'm going to add one, two, four, ten, maybe one more. There we go, perfect. And now it's time to add into the mix our tea bag. There it goes, it goes into the mug, and then we stir it together with the same teaspoon we used earlier. Remember to take the tea bag out and dispose of that properly because if you don't, it's dangerous. And then give it another stir. Perfection. And there we go, a perfectly made cup of tea. And now all that is left is to try it. Mmm, tasty. And remember, if you'd like to check out our recipes, then they're probably out there somewhere on the internet. Everything's on the internet.
really bad.